Hello. Oh, uh, hello there, miss. Uh, um, yes, uh, what's this about? I'm accompanying the migration of the Yukul tribe. They usually cross the river right at this spot about every 20 years. But their bridge collapsed, and they aren't allowed to use the new structures without the approval of their, well, he's a kind of spirit spiritual customs officer, and he lives on the other side. I absolutely have to cross so that I can meet him. Can you let me cross? Please? Well, now, I heard about those famous nomads a while back, but actually seeing them in the flesh, I've only been at this post for a few months. Uh, well, you just need to show me the appropriate documents, I guess, and, uh, yes. There you go. Tell me, what documents do you need? Oh, uh, well, the usual. Nothing out of the ordinary, I think. Uh, if I remember right, uh, passports, immigrant cards, or visas, authorizations to leave the country, vaccination certificates, and uh, questionnaires to be filled out in duplicate by each person, one in the language of the country of origin, and the other in the language of the destination country. Just routine. Listen, the Yukels are going to stay here until I return. That way you'll know that I'll be coming back here as soon as I can. So that way we can stop losing time with all these annoying procedures. And, uh, what happens when you finally get back? Since they don't have the right papers, I'm sure the Yukels will agree to give you a good chunk of their savings to smooth things over. That will compensate for any nuisance they caused. Uh... What are you talking about, miss? Cash. Lots of cash. To get you to look the other way while they cross to the other side. Ah. Well, I just have to go and see what my boss says when I call. It's like they're always telling us, rule number one, always inform your superiors. And rule number two, in case of doubt, be sure to refer to rule number one. The idea is for you not to go calling on your superiors. You keep the money for yourself, see? You get it? Uh, okay, well... I don't actually know if I can actually do that, uh... But remember, you can't tell anyone, but you should think about it. With that much money, you'll be able to become a full-time fisherman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, uh... Right. Uh, well, okay, that's fine. However, you actually just need to engage the water wheel in the river there. Uh, to activate the bridge, and so I can use it to authorize you to cross. There are so many people traveling with you in your group, I... don't want to leave my post. That won't be necessary. I took care of the motor already. You did what? But... but you should have asked. Well, you have to admit the timing is good. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, that's true. So, tell me when you actually want to cross. But why was the old Yukul Bridge that was here before destroyed? It wasn't really all that sturdy, from what I was told. They were looking for something more, uh, effective in terms of actual border control. Meaning? Well, as you can see, it's made of, uh, two co-interdependent mobile components. And I'm the one who activates it here. So it's really the safest border in the world. Um, anyway, that's what my superiors told me. Do you know if there's still somebody on the other side? Uh, well, I've never been there, actually. I... I don't have the right. It's foreign. Apart from the crazy guy who lives there, I've never seen anybody, but... The one living in that yurt? On the other side? Yeah, he's a little monster. Uh, my border contact, as the manual says. Do you know him personally? Well, I never actually saw him close up. 
because he's on the other side. Makes sense. And uh, to be totally honest, uh, it's kind of like sometimes we just trade provisions using the zip line they went and had installed over the river when they built the bridge. The old guy really does like his booze, you know. So I sent him over a couple of bottles of vodka from time to time. You know, just a matter of maintaining pretty good border relations, like I said. Well, no offense, sir, but you seem a bit hesitant. When was the last time you saw someone here? <sighs> yes? Well, to be honest, I've actually been here for six months, and I never saw anybody. Not a soul. Nobody. Well, I don't talk much, which is kind of understandable, you know. Sometimes I do a little fishing to keep busy. I may end up actually talking with the dead fish. I see. Well, I am going to the other side. Okay. Yeah, okay. Why not? Um, just go over there, right in front of the bridge, and I'll take you across there. Oh, yes, that's her. Kate Walker. The one who left her old life far behind her. So since then, she's been running, and she isn't stopping. A traveler with no destination. Ah, uh, everything all right? The spirits speak to me about you, Kate Walker. Spirits? Sometimes they protect you. Sometimes they abandon you to your fate. We have trouble understanding them. They tell me that Kate Walker is accompanying the new migration of the Yokels and their ostriches. That's right. The Yokels need your benediction to be able to cross, and... They say a great danger threatens you. The spirits like to warn of danger. It makes them feel important. Yes, people are chasing us. Which means it's even more important for us to have your authorization to cross. But first, there's a test. With the spirits, there are always tests to pass. And there are always presents you have to give. You may give anything you wish, just as long as it's vodka. The spirits are ready to risk the great Yukal migration for a bit of alcohol? I'll be doing the drinking, and through me, the spirits will get soused. It puts them in a very good mood. Mm, and then you'll let us pass. You must also recite the incantation, and then after that, the caravan may go to the sacred lands. And what about that alcohol you need? Where can I get some? That should not pose any problem at all for Kate Walker. The spirits don't have a particularly favorite brand. 
Okay. I've got work to do. I'll go find a way to get you something you can use to toast your immaterial friends with. The spirits are also very sensitive, Kate Walker. They don't like being laughed at, so... 